Well, Murdag Konsari joins me now. He's a former Iranian diplomat. Uh, thanks for joining us on the programme. What's your view of what happened 40 years ago? Well, I think, you know, apart from the obvious factors that, you know, an embassy was stormed and hostages were taken, the main impetus behind that, much like the standoff that we have in Iran between Iran and the United States today, is a small group of hardliners wanting to impose their will and to retain power, the monopoly of power in their own hands. In 1979, 40 years ago today, this group, which was of course much larger part of the ruling constituency at that time, used this incident in order to uh, rid itself of any liberal uh, Western-oriented type of politicians who were in charge of government at that time while by attacking the U.S. Embassy, they tried to outdo the leftist intellectuals who were dominating the uh, university scenes and among students and so on. So they used this occasion in order to uh, essentially put an end to that grand coalition that had removed the Shah from power under Khomeini and concentrated power in the hands of uh, the very clique who have retained it ever since, although their constituency, as I mentioned, has in the past 40 years become far, far smaller than what it was, although it still contained, continues to retain all the main levers of power in Iran. So, so I mean, it's often said that this was the, the thing that uh, soured relations between Tehran and Washington and that relations never recovered. Is that... Is that, in your view, the thing that worsened relations, or were relations always tense, even before then? No, I think, well, this was, this was essentially the, uh, the, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, you might say. But the fact is that uh, uh, relations did not recover in the last 40 years. Uh, the hardliners in Iran consolidated their position, and what happened in the course of this past 40 years was we have now seen a development of a similar group of people in the United States who are as hardline against Iran as those people were at that time. And uh, that, again, the growth of this group in the United States has worsened the situation. And while many of the Hardliners of 40 years ago have moderated. Many of the student leaders who participated in those demonstrations have now joined the ranks of the liberals. Even the okay. uh, holy priest who led the whole procession has joined the liberals in Iran. But the position, unfortunately, has hardened in the United States and hence the current standoff. Okay. OK, Nehda Honsari, thank you so much for joining us, former Iranian diplomat there on the 40th anniversary.